So I'm super, super excited about this video because I've been planning this for a really long time and I've been kind of accumulating products and testing different things for a really long time, but it's finally here, or part one anyway. And I have decided to do a video talking about the best products in the UK. So these can be products that can be picked up in Boots or Superdrug or in various places like Space NK and John Lewis and UK type of stores. And they're just the brands that I think represent the best UK purchases. So this would be good if you are coming here on holiday and you've got a little beauty wish list that you want to go through or maybe if you aren't aware of all these amazing brands that are our own brands because I find this really exciting. I feel like a lot of things today get very Americanized which isn't a bad thing necessarily but I think it's nice to support your kind of own um, products and that's what I want to do in this video. So I'm super excited and I'm gonna jump right into it with MUA. Now MUA is the brand which which is actually called Makeup Academy, and a lot of their products are very, very affordable. Most of their products are around one pound. So for example, this blush, they do loads of different blushes. This one is in the shade um, Marshmallow. This is one pound, so it's amazing value for money and really, really lovely. And then everything else is kind of just under five pounds, so very, very affordable, very on trend. They know what's going on in the makeup world. So for example, they do things like these um, power pouts, which are like the Clinique chubby sticks, so just a kind of chubby stick for lips, very on trend. And also cool things like this collection that they've done with One Direction, which is the What Makes You Beautiful Cheek Tint, which I absolutely adore. It's just this really lovely little cheek tint, three pounds. So these are really fantastic. And all of these products, you know, they're UK brands. They're not necessarily things that you can only get in the UK. A lot of them are, but they're just brands that I wanted to expose you guys to in case you weren't aware of them. So that's really fantastic. Another brand that I know you can't get in the US, um, and it is very much a UK brand, is Barry M. I haven't ever tried any of the Barry M makeup. I know a lot of people did really like them back in the day, um, the Dazzle Dust and things like that, but they weren't for me. My key products from Barry M are their nail polishes, just the regular ones. I'm not overly keen on the gel ones as much, but this one right here is in the colour Indigo, and these are 2 99 Really, really great polishes. Last forever, don't chip, and just very easy to use. Fantastic, fantastic UK high street products. And I think the UK is amazing at doing high street products very, very well. And then another brand that I really like is Collection 2000, or as it likes to be known now, Collection. And I have got here the Collection 2000 Cream Puffs, which is just a kind of moisturizing lip cream. A very kind of novel idea. Not many brands do these, which is what I think is quite cool, but they're kind of like a nice moisturizing lip cream that you just apply on your lips and they're very smooth and lovely and then the infamous um, blogger cult classic which is the lasting perfection concealer this is amazing I've yet to find a concealer I like as much as as much as this and I'm trying loads now and I still don't like any of them as much as I like this this is amazing and then another brand which isn't a makeup brand is the boots botanics brand now this is a really really fantastic brand because everything I've tried from them pretty much I have loved. My kind of key products from them are the cleansing balm. This is the old version, they do do a newer one now, but I really, really like this cleansing balm, very natural. And then the Botanics Cleansing Toner, which is the All Bright Toner, really nice product. Again, it's got um, AHAs in it and it just lightly exfoliates, kind of like a cheaper version of the Pixi Glow Tonic, really lovely, I've used this for years. And then my favourite ever BB cream, and the only BB cream I will use, which is the Boots Botanics um, BB Cream Radiant Youth. Really fantastic, as I said, only thing I'll use. Then another product, um, which is from a different brand, which is called Heal Gel, and these are really, really interesting. I'll show you the packaging first of all, because I think it's really cute. But I especially love the eye version that they do of this, but this is also really lovely, and it's their Heal Gel Face, and it's basically, I'll read it to you. It's an anti-aging formula and it firms, replenishes and smooths and they've got very, very nice kind of almost silicony textures and the eye one I haven't got to hand because I've nearly finished it but that as well, really, really fantastic. Great value for money and I will put um, down below where you can get them and everything. You can get this online but I'm sure you can get this in some stores as well. Really lovely and just very, very different and a brand that I don't think is it always gets stuck it goes like gunky at the nib 
a brand that's just very um, scientific but works and you can see here the cream looks like that and it's just a very kind of nice gel based cream that's very light but it really gives your skin a moisture boost and my skin's been being quite dry lately so I really recommend Heal Gel and the eye version of this as well is fantastic. And then another one, which this represents the brand in general, but this is my favourite product, and it's the Sanctuary, which is a great, great British brand. The products that I like the most are the face ones. This is the 5 Minute Thermal Detox Mask. I talk about this in every video. I've talked about this for years. It's probably really boring for you now, but just a beautiful, beautiful, amazing product that performs well every time and just a fantastic brand. The next category is self tanners, and this is because I feel like the British market is the best at doing self tanners. I've tried so many different tans and I definitely think that the British High Street just does the best. I know there's a bit of a stigma when it comes to British girls and fake tan and that we all kind of want to look like we're from TOWIE and that everyone likes an orange tan. But I definitely think that today, um, more so than kind of years ago, we have got some amazing products, amazing formulas and the tans are just phenomenal. I've loved so many that I've tried and I have tried a lot of kind of US tans and for me they're just always a little bit more orange rather than olivey which is what I prefer. The first first one that I've got here is by Vita Liberate and this is just, uh, this is actually a brand that was launched in Northern Ireland so it's a British brand and it, um, well a UK brand, you know it's not technically British, you know Great Britain all that jazz, but this is their phenomenal three to, two to three week tan and I haven't actually used this in the sense where you're supposed to apply it to over a couple of days and build it up to last three weeks I didn't do that because I wanted to just see how it applied normally first and then I was trying some other tans so I didn't get around to testing it like that yet but um, as a tan on its own it lasted me about a week and a half which is more than most tans do nice application packaging's really lovely it goes on beautifully it gives a really nice color it's a mousse it dries quickly and it lasted really nicely the only thing it did do was go a little bit patchy on my chest which doesn't normally happen but towards the end every tan goes a little bit patchy but really really nice product and it's very expensive but if it does last for three weeks which I will update you on I'm going to do a full review of it once I've tested it that way as well it's I just by to Saint Moritz it's, and Saint Moritz is a brand that you can only get in the UK as far as I'm aware very inexpensive and just a nice tan it's not the best tan I've used um, I did love it for years and years now I've tried much higher end tans a lot of them do perform a lot better than this but it is a fantastic brand. It's got a lot of variety. It's a great price. If you're on a budget, it's very, very, very nice. Um, it's just not my absolute favorite anymore, but it is fantastic value for money. And the color is very nice. It's just, it makes my skin a bit dry and it doesn't last as long as other tans. And then last but not least, I have got a kind of hair category. And I have chosen Mark Hill for one of my best UK hair brands because I've tried their Curlicious products and I really like those. And and I've got a couple here that I really like. I love this takes uh, only takes a minute 60 second detox gloss treatment. It's a hair treatment, very thick, luxurious, makes your hair really shiny. And also their um, Miracolicious Moroccan Argan Oil. I can never say this properly, but it's just their Argan Oil, really lovely and a great, great British brand. I feel like there's a lot of good British hair brands, but um that especially are good for kind of curly hair is what I found. Why is this piece of hair not cooperating? But anyway, those are my top picks for this video. I am going to do a part two because I just didn't want to bombard you with too much information, too many products and things in one video, and it would also be very, very long. So I didn't want to do that. But definitely, definitely go and check all these products out and definitely let me know what your favourite British ones are. Um, maybe they'll be mentioned in the next video or maybe there's some that I've completely forgotten, I don't know. But I will be really excited to read your comments because this is a video that's very, very important to me and it's one that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.